All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Us, me. I'm used to going live with mom nowadays. Uh, anyway, welcome to the first live in a long time from the self sewn wardrobe. Uh, I'm Mallory Donahue. And if you've never been with us before, welcome. Uh, say hello in the comments to let me know that you're watching. And today I am talking about items that are going to be coming in this Sew Here box. So if you are new to the self sewn wardrobe, well, and maybe even not so new, we haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, way back when we started the group in 2016, I believe is when we did the first box, we just kind of did it on a whim. Hi, Paula. We were uh, starting this group. You know, there were under a thousand people in the group. Hi, Dawn. And we had a retail store. We actually had our brick and mortar store still. And then a few people were like, hey, you know, it would be so cool if you guys did a box. They're like, okay. So we did a box. We decided maybe we'd do them about quarterly and, you know, it wouldn't really be a subscription. We would just do this box. And then we hadn't done one in a while. So this box is called the Refresh Edition. And it will have things in it that maybe you um, maybe already have. Maybe you used it up. And it's things that you wouldn't mind having duplicates of, okay? So that might be something consumable that we're always recommending on a podcast or a blog post or in a live broadcast or something like that. So I'll get right to it. And this is one of the items that if you take good care of it and, you know, no misfortunes befall it, this is something that could last you forever, and it's one of our most popular items in our online store. And it's getting a little blown out here with my lighting. But it is the Easy Check Tape Measure. Okay? So this tape measure is very unique. Okay? It's, first of all, it's just a, you know, normal tape measure. It is a 60-inch tape measure. But what is so cool about it is that here on the zero end, okay, we have a little snap. And then there is this plastic slider that you see here that will slide up and down the tape measure. And on the back of the slider, there is a place to put the snap. So what you can do when you're measuring yourself is, um, depending on the part of your body you're measuring, you can snap it together. And then let's say you're measuring your bicep. And you can slide the slider up. There we go. Keep going to measure your bicep. And I've done a video on this before. And this is one application that I really like. So I can kind of move it. I can find the biggest part of my bicep and I can leave it there. It's holding it. Okay. And I can flex and I can make my bicep as big as possible so that my sleeve fits. Just having a conversation about that in the group, making sure our sleeves fit, talking about sleeve bicep bumps. Okay. So you can find your largest part, which is a lot of times what we're doing, you know, um, on a sleeve. We want to make sure the sleeve is going to fit. Mine is 11 and a half. And then what else is really cool is I snap it off. Okay. Hi, Crystal. She says she's a total podcast fan girl in Virginia. Good to see you. And so now I get to see the measurement that I took. Okay. Here. The other place where this is really cool and this make, well, I'll, I'll keep that to myself for now. Okay. Might coincide with something else, but, uh, is when you're taking a measurement where you shouldn't be holding the tape measure. So I'm about to take my upper bust measurement, my over bust measurement, whatever, whatever a company is going to call this, okay? But it's your chest above your breast tissue. And the thing about this measurement is often, well, first of all, often they say they want it to be a skin measurement, so you really shouldn't be wearing any clothes. But I don't go completely naked on live broadcasts. However, when I hold this up here like this, like I would with a normal tape measure, I get about a 38. But when I go like this and I allow my arms to go down, I'm actually more of a 37. So this action can actually distort that upper bust measurement, okay? Whereas you maybe you want the measurement when your arms are down and relaxed, okay? So that is another place where this can be really useful. So this snappy, snappy-do, uh, easy check tape measure 
is really useful. Claire says, hi, Mallory, I'm a podcast version. Claire, you've been in this group for a long time. I know that you have. I can't believe that you're, this is your first live broadcast. Hi, Gail, nice to see you. So this easy check tape measure or snap and slide tape measure, I don't know what we call it. It's something very popular that we sell in our online store, and we're including it with this box because it does not hurt to have two. Frankly, it doesn't hurt to have three. And occasionally we have heard of maybe an animal getting a hold of the little plastic part. Um, one time, an employee of ours, her daughter stepped on this and broke it. And it's still a good tape measure after that. But, you know, that can happen. So you've had people order replacement support. And this can be especially important to our international people. So this is a lot of stuff in a box that you can order. Um, shipping is included, and there is a different price for the international box versus the U.S. box. And you can see that when you go to right here, sohere.com slash go slash box. That's where you can order. And this is one of the items that will be in the box is this easy check tape measure. And it's just so nice, especially, you know, it can be good for people who maybe even have like uh, a mobility or a flexibility issue as well. So it can be nice for that. Oh, so my plastic slider is right there. I got to move it around to find my waist measurement. And I'll just snap it there. And I go, okay, I want my waist measurement. Here we go. Okay, it's a 32 and a half. And now I want my hip measurement. Or maybe I want to measure the belly area. Okay, so then I'm going to just slide it there. Okay, 38 and a half. And I just love how it's, it's so nice that it does this for you. Okay, so this is the snap and slide tape measure. Um, and you can get this. If you don't want to order the entire box, you don't have to order the entire box. Um, I do have a few of these left that aren't reserved for the boxes. So this tape measure, I think it's at SoHere.com slash tape measure, actually. Okay, so that's the tape measure. And that is truly, it is an item that could possibly last you forever as long as you're taking good care of it and no animals or children or anything come into contact with it and do destructive things to it, okay? It's more of a reality for some things than others, okay? But this guy here, it is a consumable, okay? This is ZD's and my favorite construction thread. This is Mettler Metrazine thread. I'm going to slide the little plastic sleeve off of here. And you are going to get this gigantic spool of a very special color. This is called Magic Mauve. It's not really called that. I made that up, but that's what we call it, okay? Um, it is actually... I believe it's called Red Planet by the company who makes the thread, but they didn't ask me. However, let's talk about thread color. And we did a podcast on this a while ago that it just still rings true. Okay, when you are constructing a garment, we often will advise you not to match your thread completely to the garment, okay? Okay. Or, or you should at least consider being willing to accept something that's sort of close but not exact. Because this can be very helpful when you have to go in there and unpick your seam. It's really nice if uh, your fabric is this tealy blue color and maybe you chose just like a sea foam and you can go in there and pick that out. Or we also say we don't always match our top and our bobbin thread. Uh, maybe we put like a charcoal and a light gray because it's always nicer to unpick the bobbin. You can very quickly tell what that is. And it won't make a big difference on the outside of your garment. Okay, so we, we would never tell you to do something that would make your garment look, you know, bad. Um, but this color is super special. Okay. When you use it to sew a seam, you don't get this massive pink. Okay. This isn't like choosing a color for a machine embroidery design. When you choose a color for a machine embroidery design, you're going to get a mass of thread. You're going to get a mass of this thread laid down. You are going to get a pink color. However, when we just sew a seam, we are going to use this very, very, very small line upon our fabric. And this color, for whatever reason, it's just a wonderful neutral that ends up blending in with a lot of like beiges and light grays. 
and even some yellows, uh, some oranges. It, I mean, I've even used it on uh, some off-whites before where it's been just fine. And it is a staple in our thread library, okay? So we always have like black, white, gray, and magic mauve, okay? I used to say mauve. Everyone told me that was wrong. I guess it's mauve. Fine. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, this is something that is consumable. And if you've ordered a Sew Here box before, you may have received a small spool of this, an itty bitty one. So this is the thousand yard spool. Originally, accidentally, in my listing, I had it listed as a 10,000-yard spool. It's not a 10,000-yard, it's just a 1,000. 10,000 would be very big. Uh, when we have put samples of the metrazine into the box in the past, we have used the small spools. But here's the deal. With their smallest spool size, when you wind a bobbin, that's about half the spool. And that's no fun. This you'll wind many bobbins off of, okay? Uh, you will use it for a long time. These spools of thread are what ZD and I use and buy and love. We get the biggest size, okay? Uh, especially with construction thread, you know, we don't think we need every single color in the universe because we're using it on the inside of a garment. We don't need every blue out there. We can have a few blues, you know, um, you can have a dark medium and a light blue. Or, I mean, you know, I'll use a light gray on a light blue because I'm okay with that on my construction thread seams. But this Magic Mauve ends up blending in with so many things. So you're going to get in the Sew Here box, amongst other things, the Easy Check Tape Measure. Oh, do I have two of them here? Yep, I do. I... I don't know why I did that. I already had one over here. <laughs> so you're going to get the Easy Check Tape Measure, which is just invaluable. You're going to love it. Uh, actually, they also make great gifts. So if you already have one, you're like, oh, I just do not need another one. It's an excellent gift to give someone. And you're going to get an entire spool, an entire thousand yard spool of the Magic Mauve Thread. Hi, Julian. So that is two items, okay, that you are going to get in the Sew Here box. And I'm going to be going live the rest of this week, um, every single day, so that you can get a little bit of a demo, um, get a little bit more of a feel of what is going to be in the box. So if you go to sewhere.com slash go slash box, that's where you can purchase one. These boxes, there's only 100 total that we will be shipping, and I think there are around 40 left. So if you want one, if you want to treat yourself, go ahead and order one, and they are going to ship out in about mid-October. Okay, so um, I'm ordering everything in. I'm going to be cutting hundreds of yards of fabric because there is some fabric that comes in this box as well. Um, and we're going to be packing up kits. I'm going to be enlisting my family members to uh, pack these up. And then there's always some surprises in the Sew Here box. So if you want sewing supplies that have been curated by ZD and me, you can go to sewhere.com slash go slash box and you will see the refresh or the refresh, refresh, refresh edition of the box there. And you will have, you'll, you'll have a wonderful sewing package arrive to you in the middle of the fall. It'll be a fabulous treat. There will be fun things in there as well as functional things. And our boxes hit pretty heavy. Okay, um, they are a little more expensive, you know, than a sewing subscription box. I've seen other sewing subscription box out boxes out there, or maybe they come with a pattern and and things like that. But, uh, you know, it's not the same as other type of subscription boxes. Sewing is its own animal, and so that's why we put together these boxes where you're not just getting two things or three things or like a little bit of fabric or something like that. So you're going to be getting uh, a good amount of useful sewing tools along with some fun swag. And I can't wait to send them all out to you. Not everything is completely finalized yet. And sometimes these boxes take on a bit of a life of their own as we um, hear from people, as we see what's available, and lots of fun surprises come in them. So Tammy says Christmas in October. Yeah, it's going to be like a little gift to yourself. You're going to love it. And yeah, go order a box and I will be showing you the different things that come in the box throughout the week live. It'll probably be more in the evenings uh, since 
that's how life is right now. Uh, <laughs> and yes, uh, so look forward to hearing about, learning about, seeing me touch and feel and stretch and move things like the Power Shaper Net, the cotton organdy that's going to come in the box, and I cannot wait to do a series of videos about the stabilizers that are going to be coming in this box because I think that's a big thing that garment sewers are missing out on is how stabilizers meant for the embroidery world can actually be used in garment sewing when you are doing things. Okay, everybody, well, I gotta go. Um, I gotta feed Zadie's dogs. She's off playing in her boat right now. And I will see you all probably almost every day this week live in the group. And um, I can't wait to do that. All right, everybody, so long and so happy.